Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Scott and I'm on my way to building my first computer. I've got a few parts already ordered and received, so if you wanna follow along, make sure to subscribe. So just really quickly, everything highlighted in green, I've already ordered and received the tower, the CPU, uh, and some storage, boot drive and then the mechanical drives. But anyway, my question to you folks is, I'm going down a rabbit hole trying to find the right motherboard for an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. I've read dozens of reviews basically on Amazon. And so far, this is the latest one I've kind of put myself on, this $129 Asus B450 gaming motherboard. Um, with all the reviews that I've read and all these answered questions, it seems like it's compatible out of the box uh, for my Ryzen 2700X. But again, if there's anybody out there that ha has this board or just knows some other boards, I, my greatest fear as a first time builder is I don't want to do a BIOS update because I don't want to mess up the board or brick the board, so to speak. So if any of you know if this board is um, compatible with the 2700X, I'm pretty sure it is, but I would sure like uh, some opinions out there. You know, I don't want to spend two, three, four hundred dollars. I'm kind of looking in that price range from about a hundred, you know, up to one hundred and seventy five dollars. I know I don't want a dirt cheap one. I know I can't afford the, the more expensive one. So somewhere, you know, in this range, one hundred and thirty bucks, one hundred and fifty bucks to where I can just plug and play and everything will be nice. So, again, any comments you have? please let me know. I really appreciate it. On another note, um, paydays in a couple days, I'm going to order my next part. Uh, I'm going to do, go ahead and go for the, uh, the power supply. This is the one I've, I have picked out from Amazon, fully modular, 650 watt. But again, I'm not sure yet. So I'm still researching that. So I'll probably pull the trigger within another couple of days, but I know that 650 watts, at least according to Part Picker, um, I have way too much power. Let me see if I go to my uh, save parts list here. So here in my parts list, you can see my build right here. You can see here I have a another motherboard here that I didn't have on um, Amazon. But anyway, with these parts I have, uh, 349 watts. I need to add a few more fans, so probably no more than another 100 watts. So I should be safe with a 600 watt power supply. So I'm taking 650 just to be safe. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll give you another update as soon as I receive my power supply. And make sure to subscribe and click that bell button to to follow me on my next videos of me building my very first computer. See you next time, folks.